This guide shows you how to clean out tasks that are running in the background that might be slowing down your Fire TV stick. So first of all, you need to have this downloader app installed on your Fire TV stick just there. Please see my video on how to do this. There's a link to it up in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. Secondly, once you've downloaded that, you need to make sure that you've allowed apps from unknown sources. So grab your Fire TV remote, press and hold the picture of the house on it, and then let go when this screen appears, and then go across to the right until settings is highlighted in orange, press the middle button on your remote control, press the down button on your remote control so that notifications is highlighted orange, and then keep pressing the right button on the remote control until my Fire TV is highlighted in orange, then press the middle button on the remote control. Go down once to developer options, press the middle button on the remote control, and then go down once again to apps from unknown sources, and make sure that's switched on. If it's off like mine, press the middle button on the remote control, and then press the middle button again. Then press the home button on your remote control to go back to the main menu and then press and hold the picture of the house once more. Let go when this screen appears and press the middle button on your remote control. Find the downloader app, highlight it, press the middle button on the remote control. Then when this screen appears, press the middle button on your remote control again to get the keyboard up and then type in there tiny.cc forward slash t235. Then press the play pause button on the remote control. This website will now load. See your circle there, the red circle. Try and get that over or as near as you can to this click here just there. And then press the middle button on the remote control and it will start downloading. Then keep pressing the down button until cancel is highlighted and then press the right button so that install is highlighted. Then press the middle button on the remote control. Task manager will now start installing. Press the middle button on the remote control and then press the right button on the remote control so that delete is highlighted. Press the middle button, then press the left button on the remote control so that that delete is highlighted. Then press the middle button and then keep pressing the left. Press and hold the left button until you get to the left hand side of the screen just there. And then once you can't go any further, just tap the uh, left button once and then so that home is highlighted, then press the middle button, you're back to the main downloader menu. Then press the picture of the house on the remote control and then press and hold the picture of the house on the remote control till this menu appears. Then press the middle button on the remote control to go into apps and there you'll see task killer. Press the middle button on the remote control. Okay, and this shows you here all the apps that are currently running in the background. Now, some of them you might want, some of them you won't. But what you can do is you can you can press the middle button on the remote control to kill the selected app. So at the moment, I've got an available memory of 391 megabytes. So let's just press the middle button to kill the selected apps. And there you go. 34 megabytes has been freed up. So as you can see just up there, I've now got 417 megabytes available to me. Press the middle button on the remote control to come out of it and you'll go back to the main menu. So there you go, that's just a quick and easy way of closing down tasks that are running in the background of your Fire TV stick. Hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.